So guys, we woke up very early for day six of the road trip. We're gonna shoot for try and make the sunset sunrise at Cape Hillsborough. Still very tired, just had to put away the tent, which wasn't hard. But we'll also move everything else in the car at five in the morning, so yeah, we're gonna get a drive on, get to Cape Hillsborough, and hopefully we can catch that gorgeous sunrise. So we're coming down to Cape Hillsborough this morning. We got here just before the sun's coming up, it is getting light in the sky. But the thing that attracts everyone to Cape Hillsborough is the fact that there is wallabies on the beach during sunrise. So it's one of the places loads of families, loads of people come to see because the wallabies just come to the beach in the morning. I don't know if you can see that sun rising behind me, but this is one of the best places I have been yet to witness a sunrise. There's a lot of people here, obviously, because the sunrise is so good. But yeah, if you are ever up in Mackay, I would recommend getting up early in the morning to come and witness this sunrise. Might not be as good every day, it might be 10 times better some other days, but today, spot on. To a national park, literally as we were pulling up, this bad boy started climbing up my window. So now it's just chilling on my roof. Don't know really what to do with it, but I think I'm just gonna leave him there. You have a good time while we go on our trek. So we're going on a hike in the national park, Yurimbla National Park, and we're going on the Finch Hutton Gorge walking tracks to see the waterfalls. Uh, we're going to try and do the Wheel of Fire track, which is 4.2 kilometer return. And it should take about one and a half to two hours, depending on how long you stay at each spot. So we are just at the start now. And uh, yeah, ready for it. It's about 20 past eight in the morning. So we're trying to do it before it gets really hot. Hopefully we'll get up to the rock pools and stuff when it is a nice temperature. We've got our swim stuff, have a little dip in the pools. And uh, some of the crossings are weather dependent, so we don't know if we'll make the whole track. There is different variants of track, but there's water crossings, so we'll have to see what they're like and if we can cross them. So this is Finch Batten Creek. As you can see, a little waterfall going into a nice little creek and then it comes and splashes off some boulders and runs downstream. So it's very peaceful. The sign up at the top said, stop for a minute, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and just listen to the sound of the water crashing over the boulders. Can you sense its power? So maybe if you did that for a second, I don't know if the audio will be as good as it is in real life, but you can give it a try. Well, I hope it worked for you as it works for us. It is very, very 
amazing to see so many things like this. And this is just the first stop on this tri trail that we're gonna do. I don't know if we are gonna go for a swim. It is still a little bit chilly as it is early in the morning. Um, we've probably come a little bit too early to go swimming, but it's still warm enough. Maybe we might dip our toes in or something like that. So we made it to the Wheel of Fire, which it was a long hike up many, many stairs. And actually five people had died in the past hundred and odd years, all of them being males, fit, strong males, just from doing that walk. So quite a challenging walk to be fair. Got a bit of a sweat on. Couldn't imagine doing it during the summer. But the reason it's called the Wheel of Fire is a bit of a confusing name since all the water around us. It's because the plants that grow in spring and summer, so we're not going to see them now. It's the Queensland Wheel of Fire plant. They grow and they tower above the whole of this place. And that is where it gets its name from. Well, if you look in here now, from deep rock pool, and it going all the way down to where we was before at the bottom. And this is the pinnacle of the walk. So we're just going to chill here for a little bit, get our breath back. Have a nice rest <laughs> and then make our way back down the steps. Maybe have a little dip if it does start to warm up in the next half an hour that we chill here. It is a little bit cold, I've already dipped my finger in it to check. But it does, from first look, very deep. <laughs> So we decided to go for a dip in the water at first. I refused after dipping my feet in, but then I ended up actually giving it a go. And my God, it was absolutely freezing. In and out in about two seconds. It probably wasn't the wisest idea, but it's all okay now. We're still fine. So guys, we've just finished the hike that we were on. I've got to say, it was a very good hike. It wasn't too challenging on the body. It is still early, it's about quarter past 10 now. So it did take us about two hours and 15 minutes, including the times we took to stop. So yeah, it was a grand little hike. Off to get some food now, grab a bite to eat, and probably drive back into Mackay. We're not too sure yet. We're just gonna see what happens. <laughs> So we've arrived in Airlie Beach, we went for a little walk about for about an hour and a half. Just looking down and the water is pristine down here. It's such a lovely turquoise colour and then light blue and then dark blue. It is, it's incredible to be here. I've heard a lot of good things about Airlie. We went and just looked at a few tours and how much they'd cost uh, to go for a day of snorkeling and stuff. And I think we are going to go book that in about ah, probably just after a coffee and after I edit and upload this video now. So all we're going to do now is just go grab a coffee, chill out for a little bit and talk about which tour we'd like to do. So we popped down to the marina just to have a little look. I tell you what, this shit's on my kai and your poon because once I spin round you'll see the size of this boat. Jeez, that is absolutely massive. And you can probably see the sun setting in the background over the mountain there. The size of that boat is just incredible. Imagine owning boats that big. It'd be insane. But it's a very nice place at the moment. We've had a very chill day. Quite off camera. Just walked around. Looked everywhere. Had a little gander. We've booked a tour for Thursday, going snorkeling and to an island just to go to the beach to see that. But yeah, I do think Ellie is a very nice place at the moment. 
and could end up staying there for a bit. But I reckon if we do, it would mean we'd end up spending a lot of our money. So we are going to a free camp about an hour away tonight, and we'll just have to see how that goes. But quite tired as we got up very early this morning, so we are going to see if Dakota is going to meet a friend, and then we'll be back late and probably straight to bed. But this free campsite actually has hot showers and it's on a, a lake, I think, apparently. It's been recommended to us by a couple of our mates that have already been up this way before. So, yeah, hopefully it lives up to their standards and what they said.